What's up, Samurai? We are back in the and today we are going to be continuing the 45k series with the D -D 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 Dino Tamer. Dino Tamer. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I had a mild heart attack there. So, uh, in this series, we always end up highlighting what these classes are going to be like at 45k. As you can see, I don't have any Paragon levels on this character, so I haven't actually been grinding it per se. Uh, you know, I've got lots of years before Paragon was in the game where I ended up maining every class slowly over time, but I know that this is one that you guys have been asking for for quite some time, and I finally have my set of Magic Gems. I had my set of Magic Gems like last week, and then... And then I got overwhelmed because the Hogwarts game came out, which I just beat, by the way, last episode went up today, uh, and also the Metroid Prime Remaster, yay, I love my job, but my god, I was just overworked. Anyways, we're finally getting back to the swing of things with just doing uh, Trove stuff here and there, so we're going to be doing uh, Sundered Uplands, excuse me, I'm a little congest congested, congestiony. It's your congestiony, I, help me. Please. Oh, okay. So we're going to be doing five minutes in Sundered Uplands because Sundered Uplands is the strongest enemies in the game. And the most biggest reason for that factor is because these enemies have uh, buffs. So they just naturally are a lot stronger because we are supposed to get off of my screen. I love how if you accidentally click that, you got to go all the way to the end. Uh, but there's these idiots will end up giving you various buffs. This guy gives us gliding buffs, but there's other ones that give us like damage buffs and stuff. And we're not dealing with any of that stuff. So we'll start off our five minute timer and uh, kind of just get to our explanation. It seems like my boss radar mod isn't working for whatever reason. So the thing is, Dino Tamer is actually your boy. He's going to always and always has been a super speed god tier farmer. Uh, his damage, as you can see, even without flasks, is really, really nuts. Most of all, it's because when we throw down our, uh, let's call it a carpet, because, I mean, let's be real here, it's basically carpet bombing these enemies out of existence of life, right? Yeah, that's a good analogy. So, the thing is, with this class, he's always been a great, 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 great speed farmer, and as you can see, he already has the damage as well. Lots of people always underestimated the Dino Tamer. I don't know why. I think just because the class itself was uh, kind of presented more as a joke rather than something that was so serious. Even though, I mean, even back when Shadow Towers was the main end game thing in the game, Dino Tamer still absolutely destroyed there. Not only just because it ended up having decent amounts of damage, but most of all survivability because you would just jump in the air since you don't have any energy, you could essentially just stay in the air indefinitely. Well, so long as your jumps permitted it. And uh, that's the easiest way that you can avoid enemy attacks. And so Dino Tamer was actually really, really good at survivability. Most of all in, most, most of all just, you had to survive by like dancing around and stuff rather than actually like, you know, just being a surviving king. And I mean, the thing is, now we've got the Trove skill tree, you know, that's in the game. Uh, and with it, we've got Life Leech, which is one of the most powerful things in the entire game. Uh, because it makes so many classes god tier invincible. Uh, while it does do that to the Dino Tamer, you are seeing that I am just having some flash pop while we're in the middle of fighting. And the reason for that is because our attacks aren't going off quick enough so that we can heal out of every single attack that the enemies are doing. But I want to show you guys also really, really quickly, because I've been doing all of these dungeons without using a flask. So this is with a flask. What was that, like 20 mil every hit or something? It was, it's ridiculous. Um, the only downfall of this class is the fact that you have to be in your ult at all times. That's kind of just, you're you're always stuck in your ult, which means that you can't use the new best mount in the game, which is the uh, Volatile Bounder from Bomber Royale. Your damage is going to be insane, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Like, absolutely nutty. We're destroying these dungeons really, really quickly. Um, but as you see, we, if, you know, if I'm playing him correctly, we should end up being able to use our ult on cooldown. However, I right now I'm using Chromatic just for safety purposes. 
even though I should actually be using different allies, most of all I should, or emblem, sorry, not allies. Uh, most of all I should be using trailblazing because we could end up getting sheer amounts of movement speed. Like even right now we're at 205 uh, base movement speed on uh, with our leggies. Base movement speed is 135, and then as soon as uh, we pop our ult, we're actually at 175, and that's the thing is Dino Tamer has always had a very, very comparable amount of movement speed just because of the ult giving you a percentage higher movement speed. I don't know what the percentage is, don't ask me, but needless to say, I'm kind of repeating myself, but Dino Tamer has always been a dino -rific class, like seriously. The only problem is that you still don't use your dino babies. Like, look what happens if I use them. Wow. What is that? One mil damage? Two mil damage? Oh my god. He's so powerful. Like, it's almost embarrassing how strong he is. Granted, that's the tanky one. Where's where's my raptor attack? Where's my raptor child? That's the one that stuns them, and it died instantly. Probably because of fear. The enemies could smell it off of him. Where's my stupid raptor? I'm assuming everything died because my raptor was there for like a split second, and then he did some shadow clone no jutsu and disappeared. Not really though. <laughs> it was probably more so because of pyro disc triggering or something. But anyways, that's gonna be our example of Sundered Uplands. In terms of speed farming, yes, you most definitely can main this class, uh, but let's actually hop into some delves and see how we fare there we're just gonna go to 136 which i know is not really the best example okay okay i i know that we should be in like 140 or something like that but delves are just i mean i'm mean, gonna be real with you guys delves are just so freaking boring that i can't stand the fact that i would have to grind up to 140 just for the sake of these videos because even though that seems like something i should do instead of being lazy it's the delves, man. Like, come on, nobody likes it. So I can already tell you guys from feedback, though, that Dino Tamer has the damage. And most of all, Dino Tamer is actually a surprising good support because our net is actually going to end up snaring enemies. And so because of it, we could actually throw our net down, it snares the enemy, and that gives all of our other buddies an opportunity to end up using their damage as well. So you can just devastate delves with this guy so long as you have other people there to kind of compensate because there is going to end up being a little bit of the damage fall off it's not as bad as you would think though but you'll kind of see it when we end up getting to the boss because the thing with dino tamer is rather than a lot of our characters that have a burst of damage this class kind of just has set value damage like you're kind of just stuck to throw down a net and start shooting things which for all intents and purposes, gets the job done, right? Like, it's not like I'm saying that as a negative thing. I'm just saying that it is the only negative connotation that I can give towards this class because everything else, it just does so well. And obviously it kind of has to have something that it doesn't do as well as others. Except, of course, your number one ability, which is absolutely useless as we've uh, explained and shown. That was the tanky ally, by the way and it just died. Like, instant death. Like, the, the thing is, the Dino Tamer babies have always sucked, and I think they always will suck, unfortunately, because devs don't seem to realize how high the damage scaling is on the enemies that they code in this game. Personally, I think Dino Tamer would be great if number one would just trigger an effect, and your dino babies would be spawned at all times. I think that would make a lot more sense. Let's see how much damage we do even out of our ult. We're still comparable. But anyways, let's get to the boss. Now, the thing is, you'll notice that my flash are actually surprisingly low because I wasn't actually trying to dodge. That's because dino tamer is extremely squishy as well, which I, you know, we kind of ended up covering earlier and that's why you have to jump around and stuff. Even in delves, usually it's your best option. So anyways, let's pop our ult get our net going down on the ground and you can see you know our damage is good it's definitely solid it's consistent that's for sure no point in even wasting the animation summoning my babies uh the real bottom line though is that i'm just not using my flash uh, appropriately enough and i'm not using my net enough but either way it's still a comparable amount of damage so lastly of course you know are can you main the character what's the review of the character dino tamer is a fantastic speed farmer 
pretty decent at delves you know it's got the damage but it doesn't really have the survivability and even then there's other classes that will out damage it in terms of just raw steady i'm going to kill absolutely everything like you know salarian of course knocks it out of the park in terms of being a boss killer but really suffers in that movement speed department now the funny thing is dino tamer is actually top tier when it comes to movement speed if I was actually using like trailblazing and all this other stuff. But the funny thing is that Shadow Hunter is actually very, very close to Dino Tamer now that it's had its rework, which I mean, now that it's had it, it's already months old. I'm just saying, long story short, if you want to main the Dino Tamer, you go right ahead and do it, you beautiful beast. Thanks for watching. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel, and have a wonderful day, everybody.